Hey guys, Kid Gear here for the Tech World, and I know I haven't made a lot of videos recently or tutorials. The reason being, I've been, you know, in states, I just got back from holiday break. Those tutorials will resume. And uh, today, we're starting with some Web 2.0 tools. Specifically, uh, there's two of them that I want to mention, and uh, first off will be the Meeva Bar, and this is on tutorials on how to get these type of social bars for your website. You may have seen them on YouTube uh, and some others like Mashable, and this is where I got the idea of uh, this new Meeva Bar that was released for the public. So if you don't know, like it's not really a sidebar, more of it's just like a just a bar and a dock and and uh, you know in the essence where it just kind of sits at the bottom of your website, and as you know users scroll down, it just stays in that one fixed place. Um, now the Mebo bar introduces a lot of cool tools. Well, you can get a couple things and get your fan page button right here. So if I click it, it would load the uh, actual you know Facebook fan page of all your people. And you can become a fan. It shows the latest fans. Um, it also has the Twitter. Uh, search where you can put your Twitter, like a Twitter search result in there. So like be your site's name or anything like that. Uh, and it shows all the results for whatever is being talked about. You know, like this one looks like maybe uh, the trending topics or something. Uh, now dig this. You can dig it, uh, this, the page that you're on. Like, so you can dig the whole blog as a whole or you can uh, dig like specifically that blog post. Or so, you know, your users can kind of up your content without you really have to do anything as much as just leave the button there. Now there's also the share page uh, little link here, which is really cool because this kind of figures out your page, and it puts whatever site you're on or whatever page you're on, it puts it into a little you know little drag dragging uh, I guess it's an applet, and then you can drag it into where you want to share it to. Maybe you want to post it to Facebook, post it to Twitter, post it to Yahoo, email it to somebody. Maybe you want to email a good article you just read, or you can just IM it to a friend. Maybe you're on uh, Mebo and you're using it as an online client. Then you can just IM it. Now, they also have some cool features like where they take dynamic content like this and you can hold it and click it, just drag it out to share it. So, you know, maybe I want to share this picture with somebody on my IM. Maybe I want to share this blog post with somebody in my email. You know, the possibilities are endless with what I can, you know, actually take from like actual content and share it out, especially pictures, video, etc. Like, it's a really, really good uh, option for that. So, I'm going to go ahead and log in here. Once you sign up, uh, it's in beta, so you're going to have to sign up for an account. Uh, for the Mebo, and this should just log me into my dashboard. And here we are at my dashboard. And another good thing about uh, the uh, dock itself, it takes stats. Uh, there's, I believe there's a pro version they're coming out with, but you can add your sites. For example, I have Adrian's Tech added. And at a glance, so right now they don't have data because I just set it up, but you can get page view data of who visits your sites, specific stats, uh, specific stats of the, you know what browser they're using, stuff like that. You get site settings, manage users. Uh, you can... And, uh, you know, mess around with the stuff you want to drag and drop sharing. You can There's a customizable partner program, so you can really kind of integrate, you know, uh, different things in your uh, bar. And here you go also customizing your bar buttons. You can add a lot of other buttons to your uh, dock, I guess you can say. So it's going to say, using this tool, you can customize which bars appear on your, or, yeah, which buttons appear on your bar. And it shows an example of the bar you have on your site. So right now I have my latest YouTube videos and I dig this icon. But I can also add... Flickr, I can add extra sites if I have, you know, like Tuck Geek, Wii URL, my YouTube channel. Uh, I can have a chat with us. So what this is, this kind of adds live chat and a social chat to your page where in the sense of if I go to my blog right here, uh, I can say chat with friends and I can click it. And then whoever's online via Mebo, via whatever, you know, whatever uh, my network, if, you know, if they're just all on my site, uh, I can chat with them. And I'm gonna, I don't really need to let that load. But basically, it just makes your own little chat room. Where you can chat with your users online, maybe especially if it's like a type of thing where you're doing tech support, very very cool and it integrates a lot of things like Facebook, AIM, and the actual Mebo account, so you can log into that and chat with some of your uh, users and community. Um, also, random page you want to make it cycle like you know, there's a little button where they click it and it takes them to any random page. You can have a Lala music player, an RSS feed, so if you kind of want to have the latest feeds of your blog, really really cool button to add. Uh, obviously a Twitter button and a stumble it button. So if you want them to be able to vi vote your uh, current page on your blog up to stumble upon, uh, you know, there's a lot of other people. As it says here, 8,791,102 subscribers uh, on stumble upon. So really, really cool buttons. There's a lot of stuff coming to the future. Again, you get stats, docs, and overview of your site. So this is a really cool social button because it interacts with a lot of social tools. There's a lot more stuff coming out. Like you see here, there's Flickr. There's a whole bunch of services that you can integrate within your blog. Uh, now this may slow your load pages, but uh, your load time on your actual blog just a little bit. But it is a really cool add-on to have to your website, just because it you know adds you know a lot of extra functionality in terms of what they can, sh what your users can share, and you know mess around with. Now in other terms, there's another little bit more uh, new bar that's been there for a while actually, but it's more developed as you see here. 
it's called the Wibia bar. You can do stuff like you can have a search box in here. You can have searches with uh, you know Google search and stuff like that. Uh, you can see the online popular stats of real time data of who's online. You can translate the page, which is a really cool functionality. Uh, you can see some examples of other sites that have this bar on it. Photo gallery, testimonials of what people say about your site. You can watch your latest videos. You can integrate games, RSS feeds. Again, you can do the whole share functionality, but it's not really you know as cool as the uh, Wibi or the Amiibo bar. You can go a fan page on Facebook, uh, Twitter dashboard, and join a live chat. And of course, you can scroll to the top of the page, and if you want, hide the actual bar itself, so it's not really, you know, showing there at the bottom. So it's really cool. No coding needed. You can add it within two minutes, and it's totally free. So you can take your choice between Wibia and Mebo. Right now, I really like the Mebo sharing features in terms of how uh, you know easy and uh, it is to drag content out. Though Wibia does have a lot of platform supported and a lot of extra things you can add to the bar. So maybe trying them both. Um, but really, really cool things if you want to add, you know, that extra functionality to your site and both of them are really easy to set up if you have a WordPress self-hosted blog they give you a code uh, or a plugin to install you just install that zip folder and then upload it via your WordPress admin panel uh, and I believe if you're not using like a hosted WordPress blog it's even easier to set it up same thing for Wibia it's just a code that you would have to paste in to your blog simple as that uh, and they give really easy step-by-step -step instructions anyway I'll leave both links in the video description to the right if you want to check it out again that is uh, bar.mebo.com for the uh, Mebo bar and for Wibia, it's just Wibia.com. All links will be in the video description to the right. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.